<laughs> From the Target 12 investigators, today Rhode Island launched a new pilot program to do surveillance testing of asymptomatic students and staff in K-12 through schools. The program started at the Ella Risk Elementary School in Central Falls. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado first broke the news last night on WPRI.com that this testing program was launching today, and she is joining us live now via Zoom. All right, Steph, so what can you tell us about how this program will work, what it will entail? Right, so for the next three weeks or so, the state is going to send teams in to six different schools, uh, two in Central Falls, starting with Ella Risk Elementary today, three schools in Providence, and one in Lincoln. Roughly 2,800 people, students and staff, will be tested using both the Binax Now rapid test and a traditional PCR test. The program is aimed at helping the state decide how they want to do K-12 surveillance testing um, in the second semester in the new year. This is voluntary, so something to watch is the participation rate. That'll, the more people that are tested, the more information we can glean from the results. Now, Central Falls, as we know, has the highest rate of COVID in the state. So this testing will hopefully give that city and the state a better sense of whether in-person schooling is contributing to that spread. And Steph, we know there's already a K through 12 testing system in place. So how is this different? Right, so the existing K through 12 testing system is really proactive on the part of the student and the teacher. They call a hotline, they make an appointment and they go to a testing site. And it's really recommended for people who have symptoms or have been uh, in close contact with a positive case of COVID-19. So this new surveillance program is bringing the test to them. You know, the medical professionals are being sent in to the school, it's free, it's easy. As long as the parent signs the consent form, the student can get tested and the parent doesn't have to do anything else or, or bring them to an appointment. So the goal is to obviously capture a lot more data and test a lot more students because as we know, children can be asymptomatic carriers of the virus and that's the data that they're really trying to capture. All right, Steph, so we've heard for a while now from both the governor and her administration talking about the rate of spread of the virus being similar of whether students are learning in person or they're learning from home. At the same time, as you've reported for us, the teachers unions have been calling for schools to go fully remote. Any idea if this pilot program will help answer that question once and for all? Well, at the moment, the pilot program for the surveillance testing will not include students doing distance learning. Um, it's just going to be two days in the school. So whoever is in school that day is getting tested. So that also means anyone who is out sick or maybe even out on quarantine um, because they were exposed will not be tested as part of this surveillance program. So we may not be able to make an apples to apples comparison between in-person learning and distance learning from this pilot, but it's at least going to give us more data to work with, and the state uh, could expand the program to distance learning in the future.